Hey YouTube and world in general, how you doing? First of all, thank you for tuning into my channel and checking out this video onto my channel. Today, uh, it's going to be another hot title, a title from the past, a blast from the past. We're going to be unboxing Contra on PS4. Everybody knows Contra is everybody's favorite. I grew up playing this game on Nintendo and uh, now it's like 2019 and of course everything is all about 3D characters. So this is like a remake of the original Contra. Like I said, like I grew up playing this game. Uh, I played almost every single Contra League there is <laughs> on Super NES or uh, any other. Uh, I think it was also on PlayStation as well. But here we go. In 2019, we have another uh, Contra called Rogue Corpse right here. So we're gonna take a look at this. We're gonna unbox this and get a gameplay. And let's get on with this unboxing. Alright guys, so here we go. This is going to be the second part of the video. As you guys could tell, this is lock and load edition. And the back of the cover, we have a 1 to 4 player. And the 2 to 8 player network, uh, network players. And it requires a 12 GB of minimum requirement to uh, play this game. We're going to open it up. This is the lock and load edition of Contra Rogue Corps. What does that mean? That actually means that we get ourselves a DLC included with two character skins. All right, we're gonna see that inside as soon as we open this up. So that's the side of the box right here. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like playing this game or not, or have you played this game before? Uh, are you a big Contra fan or not? So that's the disc on the right. Couple of uh, pamphlets right here. That's the DLC included with two characters, the one that I was talking about, and a user manual that nobody gives a crap. <laughs> I have probably already had redeemed that uh, lock and load already onto the marketplace. And if you can, you guys could go ahead and do it. So here we go guys, so this is gonna be the third part of the video. The Contra is installed now. We're gonna take a look at it. And first, once again, I never played this game. I don't know how this game plays is. Uh, this is my first time playing this. I'm new as everybody else. So uh, here we go. I'm experiencing it as it goes. Just like my any other uh, unboxing video that I do of these games. So here we go. So Contra, Rogue, Corpse. Press X to begin. I mean, like we know about Contra games, about playing a uh, flat 2D version that we know of. So this is more like 3D 2019 version. That's what I know of. Alright, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy this cutscene. Seven cut years scene ago, right Earth here. was invaded and by an extraterrestrial threat. Beginning the, the alien wars. Stars. Millions died on the first day. Enjoy this Those cutscene. were the lucky ones. But there's one thing you can say about us humans. When we have something to fight for, we fight. Day day, inch after inch, for three years, till the government's new vortex cannon wiped those bastards out. It looked like our troubles were over, until an entire city popped out of the ground. We called it the Damned City. Maybe a little on the nose, but what else would you call a metropolis that looked like it was shot out of Lucifer's asshole? The government sent a survey team in, and they found all sorts of strange artifacts and tech. Super powerful, and super valuable. And the source of all this cool stuff was this weird gate in the center of the city. Unfortunately, uncool stuff came through the gate too. Really uncool stuff. Hordes of fucked up fiends attacked and killed anything with a pulse. And that wasn't the worst thing. At least we could fight back against the fiends. But how do you fight against the city itself? 
just being inside the damned city caused psychic damage, deep frying your brain extra crispy. It was incurable, if not fatal. With a few exceptions. I'm talking about the anchors. Mercs, scrappers, and bounty hunters naturally immune to the city's effects. Those tough were crazy enough to hunt in the city for treasures and a paycheck. It just so happens I'm one of them. The youngest Jaeger, but the baddest. And right now, I'm in Alright, so here we go. Concha got dropped off by a missile. And that's how we're, uh, That's how a main character about to play play the game. Okay, the way that I see it yeah, is more like a joystick based game. Uh, I could already tell I never played this type of a gameplay. Or maybe I have. Actually. I have played this type of gameplay, but then the joysticks, I could already tell, is gonna be really hard to play. But I'm gonna have to get used to it because obviously you could tell that I'm having a hard time aiming. Maybe I have to play around with the sensitivity of the game, of the joy cons, or the joysticks. But for now, we're just gonna go along with this. I'll play around with options later on. So we're gonna go through this uh, laser lights. Surprisingly, it did not kill me. So uh, we gotta press X to jump. I'm trying to jump on this van. We're gonna actually try jumping over the front of the truck and then go over it. Try doing that. Yeah, here we go. I mean, like, I was thinking it's probably gonna be a third person shooter type of a game. I some you know? But obviously, it is not. It's, okay. it's more, it's more like. Frag all the you know, two thumbsticks type. I don't know what you, what you wanna call this type of a. Uh, this type of a gameplay. You know, it's more like, you know, war. I don't know. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna call out stuff, but. The game style is different. The mechanics are different than any other shooter game that we play and know of. So he got a couple of tips, a couple of tricks up his sleeves. And uh, we are going to jump right in here and try to kill these machines. So we get ourselves two different weapons. Uh, we get ourselves this uh, three launcher type of a thing. And uh, we get ourselves a machine gun. So we're gonna go up this uh, stairs right here. Okay, so this is just the training right now. Okay. So we just blew that off. We just blew that off. Yeah, aiming is really hard on this. I'll tell you right off the bat. Aiming is really hard on this game. See, right now I'm struggling to aim at those red balls, and uh, it is those fireballs, and it is not happening. I'm gonna have to uh, find a way to figure out how to aim this right. I mean, let me know in the comments down below if you guys think this game got a weird controlling issues. <laughs> but the graphics graphics are so, sort of cheaply made, well, the way that I see it's sort of sketchy for my taste, you know, but it, it works, it's just a Contra game, you just buy that game for the heck of it, for the love of it, right? So, uh, so here we go, so we're gonna go ahead and blast off them red balls again. So that's just my opinion, what I think about this graphics and this gameplay. I don't know about other people, but that's how I feel. So, uh, so we're gonna blast through this uh, corpse are coming up to me. I'm guessing that's what you wanna call it. So weaponry actually pauses and it reloads in about five seconds. You have to step away from it. Oh, so these people are really getting on to me. 
Oh, I just got hit. So I'm gonna go through this thing right here and see if I can uh, shoot him. I need some space. The way that I need space, you already know why I need all that space because uh, I'm having a hard time aiming. So the only weapon that I could use right now is those bazookas. I can aim right with the regular guns or machine guns or whatnot. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on top of that. They're throwing bombs at me right now. I'm gonna step away from it. Alright, there we go. Let's see if I can get them. I'm gonna get me. Oh no. I'm try I'm gonna try playing the first stage through this unboxing video and see how far I get with this. Some more corpse. So there's this glasses through so the truck. Just came through this thing, so I'm gonna jump over the truck and there's Emmy enemy uh, stronghold okay i see no bad guys keep moving go cool. well that's what we're here for kill all the bad guys right <laughs> all right all right guys so that's all i'm going to be playing up to this point uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on twitch and twitter and subscribe on youtube and uh, i'm out of here bye